everyone this is the real Ghostbusters here and today that um, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Goosebumps book from the, the new movie of Goosebumps and also Hunt a Halloween one. To make this book I use these 9 inch x 12 inch foam sheets. That's what it's made of. I bought one brown and a black. You need a ruler, some scissors, be warned kids, ask for adult for helping you if you need to cut. I bought some glue sticks, be warned again, ask for adult to help you. That's why I'm using glue, I mean hot glue gun, to hold everything together. Same thing for this one. For the magnets, I don't have any magnets. I didn't have enough for it, but since I used uh, the magnet for for this book, the actual book that I used for the leftover foam from Black Sheet. So the magnet's still there. The magnet was cost for four dollars and seventy-five cents for the Walmart. That's why I use the. I bought a regular book to use this as for goosebumps. There's no title in it, just like in the movies. Well, I don't have a title, or this is just a blank page. I, this is a scratch scratch book. See nothing, no words, and then that's how I use it for my goosebumps videos for it. Anyway, back to this one. So, let's get this started. Since I measured it, I cut it just in case the just in case I'm doing it right. I took some of my notes. Basically, it's about oh, let me tap this quick. It's uh up to two in two three four inch right there and cut a straight line. And for the next one, and for the the to cut to cut another another left over here. Basically, you gotta keep all of this. Just cut that to um, to make a perfect book. So I'm just gonna start cutting it. So basically, it's just like that. That's how it measures up to, um, so that's how the length is, four, no, no, nine and a half for length for the, for the top long way. The shorter way was five and a half inch for this length. I'm not really good at rulers so much, so ask for I, I ask for my uh, my stepdad to um, to help me for that. So on to the next one. As for the black one, which is um, let me just get the book to make the this to make the the book cover of this. It was measured by three inches. In the corners, I cut the this little corner here. That's why I made the so you better basically cut that, and I'm going to do that. So basically, it's going to turn on like this. It's a uh, three inch long. Place it in the middle where the where you close the book, and cut this on top. So I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna measure how it is. There, basically like, basically like that. The long length was um, six dash seven long. Now place it in the middle, then you start gluing it. Be careful though, using the hot glue, or you could use some other glue, regular glue, and glue it in. 
but I rather use hot glue because um, it's more stronger that way. So I'm gonna glue it and I'm gonna show you what next step. So just like that, since I glue it and I fold it just like a book. But also I'm not gonna put some pages. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the book cover instead. So onto the the straps again. So we're gonna use some of the leftover little little bit of foam because I don't need much of those black foam. So basically I'm gonna put it in the corner. Why not? I'm gonna cut some of these corners from this because it's more better instead of like measuring the just in case you guys just in case that you guys wanna do like um kinda how it is like that. So um I'm just gonna do my way instead. I'm gonna cut this on these little corners, make sure the right size, make sure it's a little bit bigger. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put the, the little strap for the magnets just in case the kids or teenagers or adults maybe want to make, uh, to, to um, put the magnets in there. So uh, I'm just gonna cut these, cut this in half and show you the last step. So just like that, a little cut, I cut some corners to make it look like, uh, look like an hexagon. So throw that away, all you need is the corners. To, to place it on the book, book cover on it. So use hot glue to glue these. Or you could use the black um, tape instead that you use, that you could strap it there instead. You don't have to like use the black foam any, anymore, which is that uh, you could use black tape. But I didn't have no black tape, so that's why I bought foam to make it the Goosebumps book. So I'm gonna start gluing this and it'll be all over. So just like that, Just like that, like the corners or the edge. So basically you're done with the the the, the book. I'm just gonna add the you know what you know what? Never mind. I'm not adding the, the little strap. If you get if, if you get a mag a magnet then um basically what I do is just uh basically like that to each of these because it was a long one, you cut the, make sure you cut the long one and then cut the middle part. Then you can have two of these because um, if you put a long one, it won't fit of the book like that. So, so you have to cut a small one. If you have a magnet, put, put it like um, right there between the, the magnet is. That way you could um, let the, the magnet have less room than when it flips up. Just like, um, just like that. Right when you touch, it, touch the edge, you do have straps, that works too, just in case you want to make it like, make it less move. With the foam, it's just less move. And I'm going to glue that just a second. So just like that. If I have magnets, I'll probably show you where the magnet is at. The top. Make sure you touch it in the corner. Then you can put to, um, let me check if I have a magnet, let me check. Nope, sorry folks, I don't have no magnet, sorry. If you do have a magnet, make sure you have a circle, I mean magnet, touching the corner. If you don't want to add that in it, it's fine. So, basically you finish your book, all you gotta do is some, put some pages in it, and you're good to go. 
So thank you guys for watching my goose goosebumps. How to make book cover from the movie Goosebumps. Ignore that. And uh, I hope I see you guys make this book. I I I hope that uh, actually helps you guys. If not, I'm very sorry. So um, please leave it leave it. Subscribe my channel, leave a comment, leave a like if you like this video. If not, I'm sorry. And I hope I see you all next time in my videos. Bye.